Now I see a few other features here uh, besides the normal bias and, and distortion type that you had on the uh, original Vultures. What's the uh, presence in mid-lift all about? All right, so talking about the mid-lift, this is one of the features that was on the uh, limited edition run of Culture Vultures. Um, you've got five different, it's an opposition, and you've got five different uh, filters, tune filters, which work really well with guitar and bass in particular. Uh, you have to get the bias in a certain position, but you get a really nice kind of narrow, notchy filter effect, and you know you just kind of tune it to taste. It really makes guitars pop in the mix a bit more. Do you, do you have a guitar track that we can listen to this with? I, I certainly do. Okay, so we've got the, uh, that rhythm guitar going through here right now. We've still got the two classic Culture Vulture distortion modes. We've got T for triode, P for pentode, so we've got odd and even harmonics. And we've got two of the other squish uh, settings from the limited edition Vulture, Squish 1 and Squish 2. The bias control, what that'll do is vary the amount of current passing through the tube that you selected with this control here. So if you look at the meter, you can see the bias changing, the amount of current going passing through the tube. In this position, we can hear that the volume's coming up, we're getting the full uh, amount of current going through the tube, and now we're starting to starve the tube of current. And you can get in some, some weird effects with that. section we'll get some more like ducking effects going on. It can be very subtle the vulture and it can as you can hear it can be pretty wacky and full on. And you've got some sort of compression effects happening too. So let's go back to something a little bit more tame, a bit more usable. Go to the uh, T setting, the triode setting. And that's just warming something up a bit more subtly now. Now, I see there's a low pass filter, so if you brighten it up by uh, raising the input gain, you can also uh, darken it down a bit with the, with the exactly. low pass filter? Yeah, and we've got, it's a variable low pass filter now, whereas before it was on a switch. Uh, so you've got a, you've got a variable control there now. Wow, that's, that's very cool. I think that's about it for the solo. Uh, we're not too sure when it's going to be shipping. There's a few things that uh, need to be refined. Well, but when it, we're, we're when it does shift, you're calling me because I want one. Okay, <laughs> you got it. <laughs>